back to the Tapping Out Show. My name is Jerry. This is Matt. And we're going to do Chimay's Blue. This is a Chimay Blue <laughs> Grand Reserve. It's a Belgium strong dark ale. Uh, we've had a few of uh, Chimay's beers. I uh, always beer. forget which one is which. <laughs> um, but they're all good. Uh, they're very awesome. Uh, what is it, Monks, uh, that make this beer here? It, it used to be made by Monks out in a monastery out in, well, Belgium. So the thing about Chimay, like we said from, from before, there's three staple ones that they have. And they're based by colors, and then they have just some specialty stuff. This stuff is seriously brewed like a fine one. Um, you will find it at places that will treat it like a fine wine. Um, Chimay can, if you go to a normal store, a pint like this or a pint and a half like this will be anything from 16 to 22 bucks. Um, the only other thing I can think of that's Belgium style and this expensive is Allagash. Yeah, I would say Allagash is another one that we like. So we're going to try this out. It's been a, a while. Um, I haven't had one of these in maybe a year or so, but... Um... Cheers. No, cheers. It's tart. It's Belgium-y. It's definitely imported. It's definitely not your local brewery's Belgian ale. I mean... Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor, which is a good thing, like I say, if you, unless you don't like the flavor, of right. course. But um, it's got a lot of flavor. It's not <coughs> hard to drink. But and this it, is one of those that does live up to the hype, I, I, I would say. Well, that's the thing about Belgium beers. Belgium beers was a style that came really popular within the last 10 years. To me, Belgium beer, if, you, if you're if you a real Belgium beer, I'm talking a real Belgium-style beer fan, Chimay and Allagash. Chimay and Allagash. Screw the rest of them. I mean, there's some breweries that do a good imitation of that style, but Chimay and Allagash really push that belgian beer taste that belgian beer style the way it's done like i said this stuff is almost brewed like wine it's not brewed yeah. like beer it's i'm not saying it's barley wine i'm not saying it's mead i'm not saying for you beer nerds that are like it's not brewed like i'm not saying it's brewed like wine it's made like wine this stuff tastes and ages really well, well it's treated like a fine wine right you know okay. and, and and when they make wine and especially on the higher end you know, it's treated like almost like a high-end alcohol or high-end quality product. Right. And that's what, the, what it tastes like. It's smooth, it's easy, it's easy to drink, and it's a uh, it's really good product. Like I said, we used to drink this stuff before we used to go out. That's how easy this stuff is to drink. There's three mains, there's a lot of imports, there's a lot of specialties that these guys do. Chimay, you know, I always call it the monk beer, obviously because of its lineage being made out in a monastery. Um, this is a lot easier to find than a lot of the beers that we do on our show it's just you get what you pay for you will pay an extra premium for this but it's worth the price yeah. um i don't know how else to explain it we'll actually tag this on our website the 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 website for them um besides that if you want us to try something if you know something similar to this if you know if you don't like the way we talked about it if you think this stuff's crap if you think this stuff's great whatever hit us up it's info at tappingoutshow.com. Yeah. Um, hit us up on all social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Facebook, uh, YouTube, YouTube. Is, is where our main channel is. And, um, you know, uh, don't drink and drive. And uh, always try new things. <coughs> Until next time. Cheers. See you guys later.